Do you have custom unsubscribe links in your email sequences? If not, I'm going to share with you why you need to and exactly how to set this up inside a ConvertKit. I'm Jason Resnick from NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co. And if you treat your email list like the humans that they are, amazing results will happen. So first things first is why would you want to do this in the first place? Well, let's be human, right? I mean, you're a human writing an email to another human that is receiving that email, right? Well, that other person may not have the ability or the time to do what you want them to do at that point in, in their lives, right? This really comes in play when you want to run a sale or a promotion of some sort. Look, the stats show that 63% of the people that come into your ecosystem, your world, your business, are not going to buy within three months. 20% are not even going to buy within 12. So just because it's a no today, it doesn't mean that it's a no forever. Secondly, it allows your subscriber to throttle their own email, right? Our lives are busy. Our lives personal and professional, sometimes can be overwhelming and cause anxiety, right? Well, look, I manage not just two lists for my own business, but I manage my clients' lists as well. And I do see oftentimes people come in and out of lists pretty frequently. So think about your own habits when it comes down to your email. You know, just because you unsubscribe, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily invaluable to you. It just may mean that you get too many emails in any given day. So you want to throttle that back. And finally, the one thing that I don't, that I encourage people not to do, especially my clients, is to not chase the unsubscribes. Give them options. This function that I'm going to share with you today allows them to remain on your list and not feel like they have to have a, a total unsubscribe from your list, right? You'll have plenty of opportunities to re-engage these people, to promote to them later on down the road, if you do this. So let's dive in. But before that, I just want to share two caveats to this. One, you don't need to include it on every single email that you send you send a promotional sequence over the course of a week, let's just say seven days, it's customary to email that person eight, nine times over seven days. Well, put it on the first three emails. You don't need to put it on every single one. Once they see it a couple of times, meaning your promotion, and they haven't yet taken action on unsubscribing or buying, well, maybe they're just want more information. They want more answers. You don't necessarily have to keep bombarding them with, hey, if you don't want to hear about this, click this button, click this link. Okay. And two, what I'm about to show you, yes, I'm going to be showing you and walking you through ConvertKit, but that does not mean that it will only work in ConvertKit. I manage drip accounts, active campaign accounts, and this method applies on those platforms as well. So take what you learn here and go ahead and apply that into your own email service provider. So let's dive into ConvertKit and I'm going to walk you through how to set this up. So first things first is we are going to want to create a trigger link, right? So a trigger link is nothing more than a link in an email that then has some action behind it on your email automation. In ConvertKit, you log in, you got to go to your subscribers immediately. What you want to do is then head on over to automations and then rules. Depending on where you're at, you may have a list of rules here, but sometimes you don't have any like, like this account right here. So the first things you want to do is you want to be able to, as I said, create a link in your emails. So the action, if this, then that happens. Right? So if they click a link, then we want to apply a tag. Right? So click a link. 
right? So you have to give it a, a URL. So I'm going to, and then I always like to be able to describe the name because this name here is what's going to appear when you want to select it when you start creating that email. So I like to say trigger link that leads me to opting, leads the subscriber to the opt out tag. Name it whatever you want. I like to use the abbreviation TL for trigger links, meaning that so that I know what this rule is doing and I don't have to bounce over into the automation rules outside of the content of the email. Then we want to apply a tag. What we want to do is we want to apply a tag. Now, what this allows you to do in managing emails is essentially say, people that have this tag do not send this email, right? Inside a ConvertKit, there are both ways. There's inclusions and exclusions. So you can say, send it to all of the people that do not have this tag. So opt out promotion. And we click and we save that rule. So now we can see that this rule is here. The second step of this is actually creating the link in the email. So you could go ahead in your broadcasts and do this. That's fine. You could do this in just about any of the emails that you want to send out. In this case, I'm just going to show you how to do that in the email itself. So inside of the broadcast or inside of a sequence, this is the same steps. So if you would not like to hear about this promotion any longer, please click here. You will remain on the list. You will remain on the list and get regular content. Now, I like to at least set that expectation, right? So we want to tell them specifically what they are doing and what the end result is. We want to make it crystal clear on that, right? So once you do that, type out the phrase, whatever it is, use this phrase. That's fine too. Go ahead, highlight the link, uh, highlight the words that you want to create the link out of. Now we click link trigger. And you can see opt out tag. Now, anybody that clicks this link will then go ahead and go over to that page. So it's really just a page to say thanks. Thanks for sharing. Thanks, you know, and telling them a little bit about what just happened. Again, you want to reiterate the point. I like this sort of phrasing where it says, here's to better emails. Your preference has been saved. Your selection is only used so that the content you receive is more relevant to you. And then I always inject personality into these pages because why not? It's an opportunity to do so. And that's it. It's plain and simple. Now, I'll just save this here. The other part of this is, is right, so th in this case, we are opting out. We're giving the ability to the subscriber to opt out of emails. If you are using visual automations, which you should be, especially in the case of sending out promotional emails, you want to then go ahead and use that as an event inside of visual automation. Now events, what they do is these are indicated by the red icons in ConvertKit. Drip has them, Active Campaign has them. So whatever the, the action, the goal, the event that takes place, which is the application of that tag, you want to then pull the person out of the automation. You want to pull them out of the sequence so they don't get any more emails from you and then exit out safely, right? So in this case, we're going to create an event I already build these into all of my sales pitch automations. However, I'm going to walk you through exactly what this looks like. So we create the event, tag is added. I'm going to say opt out of promotion. And then 
that's it. They, they will automatically be dragged down, pulled out of any emails, sequences that they're a part of, any delays that they are in, anything that's above them, they will be automatically pulled out to this point in time. And then you can do whatever it is that you need it to do. Most likely, it's just exiting the automation. So now you not only have saved a subscriber from completely unsubscribing from your email list, you also now have a way in which you can then go ahead and reach out to them through a widen you buy campaign to see the reasons why it wasn't right for them at this point in time. That's going to be explained in another video. For now, again, take this opportunity and create that trigger link and create that phrase with the link inside of it that allows your subscriber to then go ahead and opt themselves out of receiving any further promotional email from you for that sequence. If this was helpful, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, uh, smash that subscribe button, whack that bell so that you get notified the very next video that gets uploaded. And again, I'm Jason, aka Rez from Nurture Kit.